Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for October 30th through November 5th. Now this is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I need to remind you that this may or may not resonate for you because it's for hundreds and thousands of people and I just wouldn't be able to read for every single person. It's just the way it is. Um, this is for Sun Sign and Rising Sign. And if you'd like to know why I don't include the moon sign, you can watch my welcome video. Again, this is for the sign of cancer. I've pre-shuffled this deck and I feel like it's time to start dealing out the cards or laying out the cards. I often say dealing, but it's just the way it is. And I will zoom this in in just a moment. A lot of fire energy here. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Pretty prominent in this reading, so I'm not sure if you're dealing with one of them. You also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? And, let's see, you have Sagittarius again. You have Gemini, you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn a few times too, quite a bit. So it's between Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, and we do have a Gemini, and we have Libra and Aquarius as well. But the strongest suits are the fire signs and the earth signs. Um, so the basis of your reading is the Justice card. So many of you are making something final. There's like a finality this week, okay? Whether it's legal issues, court cases, or making a final decision that, you know, to remove something heavy that was weighing you down, okay? And um, bring you, doing the right thing for you. So this week you may be just like cutting a cord, you know, cutting something out of your life, finally, making something final, all right? I do, I mean, and that could be a person. It could be a person, okay? Or it could be a focus, okay? Because I see that many of you are focused on your career, focused on your job, focused on your work, or just focused anywhere else but love right now because you're trying to, to bury that emotion, okay? You may be trying to bury that, and you might just as well focus your energy on something else. Okay, you may be overindulging in work. You could be overindulging in alcohol or drugs or food, but there's some overindulging somewhere. And it's a form of escapism, escaping some kind of pain or decision that needs to be made. You know, a way of blocking it out is to overindulge in something. But we have some um, energy here that says that you are also thinking on the path of this could be exciting you know even though there's a need to cover something up or block something out or whatever it is there's a feeling of excitement as well excitement for the future of what else there could be you know so I think that many of you are um, moving forward okay you're moving forward perhaps you've recently this is now this may or may not resonate because it's for hundreds and thousands of people but i see that some of you have recently become single okay and you could have become single from a taurus virgo capricorn or aries leo sagittarius and you're you know you're just on your own living on your own taking care of business on your own uh, it's over with Okay, it's like that whole thing has been burned, the bridge has been burned, and it can't be rebuilt, okay? Um, and because you've the, bur the bridge is now burned, you may, you know, you have hurt from it, but you're also excited, okay? So the thing is, is you, for many of you, when you make something final, it sends the message out that something has become final to the universe and so that now you're open to receiving something new. And we do have the lover's card here, which tells me that 
many of you could be uh, connecting with a new person. Okay, now this is a love reading. All right, so you could be connecting with a new person this week. And the thing is, is you're still stuck on the last one. Your heart is still with the last one. But this new person could really make you excited. So you might be like, you know what? I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this new excitement. <coughs> Excuse me. It's time for me to let that go. It is. It's time for me to let that go. You know, I've been ultimately hurt, you know, big time, huge. You know, and even though, you know, I'm hoping and wishing that this could really work with the other one on one side of my heart. The other side of my heart is excited for this newness this new person okay so I gotta take a drink this week there's definitely a chance for a soul connection I have to tell you that there is and you know I think it's gonna be very exciting and I think you need to act on your hunches all right. So if you're questioning whether something is ended or if you're questioning if something is really final, like whatever it is that has ended, if it's really final, the answer is yes, because that's why the justice card is here. It is final. It's final. OK, the answer is yes. You might as well go. You might as well move on. Accept the excitement. Accept the adventure. Accept the new discovery. Whatever it is, move forward. Okay, it's a breakthrough period for you. Look at it like that. Don't stay stuck somewhere. Be careful where you stay stuck because you can lose opportunities during that time. What happens if you stay stuck on somebody who doesn't give you the love that you desire, who left you alone, okay, and all of a sudden this new person comes in and there's so much attraction there and you really feel connected to them and you don't go in that direction. This is a what if, okay? And you stay stuck with this person that never comes back. And you left, let that opportunity go. for, And it could be a soulmate. So that's how serious this is. If somebody comes into your life this week and it's out of the blue, act on your hunches. Don't, don't stay stuck somewhere where it's already final. And it is final. It is final. Okay? It's time for you to do the right thing for you. All right? It is. Because you deserve to be happy okay you're gonna you might have to um, start from start from rock bottom okay start from the bottom that's what's gonna happen that's what's happening is you're starting you're building so you're gonna be building something brand new like starting over with somebody new that's what I see and I see and it's it's and it's gonna be it's not gonna be as easy well it's gonna be pretty easy because there's a lot of attraction there but you're still holding on to the past okay so you certainly need to let go of the past um oh my goodness and this just fell on the floor and i can barely even pick it up see anyway and like i said you're holding on to the past and it is absolutely positively time to let it go Okay, that card fell on the floor. I could barely pick it up. It's the death card. Something has ended. It's final. So when somebody else shows up in your life, go for it. Go for it. You have Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius quite a bit here. You must let that door close. You must. You must. The door to the past is closed. It's final. Let it go. It's time for a change. It takes confidence, courage, inner strength, self-worth to do it. That's why this here does. You've done everything you can. You've put in all that you can put in. There's nothing else you can do. There's no more growth there. None. It's time to do the mature thing and move on. Okay? It's not going to be easy. But it is absolutely time. It's time to bring the balance back to your life. Okay? The time is right now. Right now. 
okay? It is, and I use a lot of numerology in my readings. Eights, the time is now, okay? Nines, it's over, it's over. It's time to close the door. It's a sign to move on. You've given it all that you can give. There's no more growth. The next card is the end, the tens, okay? And you do have the ten of swords. It's over, okay? With the death card, it's final. So whatever it is that you're hung up on, let it go and let this new excitement happen. Run with it. Jump in head first. Take a risk, Cancer. This could be the love of your life. Believe it or not, with the lovers and the two of cups, it could be the love of your life. And this is you. Okay? So it, this is a man or a woman. The court cards are man or woman. Okay? So we have all the signs here now. I am thinking that your prospects for this new excitement are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That's what I think. Could be a Scorpio. Okay? But that's my guess. I think something has been made final and you just needed to come to grips with it. It's over. It's final. It's done. I'm free to move on. And as soon as you come to grips with that, boom. And this is, I don't know who this is for, but it's for somebody who's watching this. Not everybody, but it is for somebody. Somebody is going to come in. If they haven't come in already, they're going to come in the week that I've done this, October 30th through November 5th, or the week after. So let it work. Let it play out. Let it play out. Before, you know, you decide, oh, this isn't going to happen, let it play out. Okay? And while it's playing out, bring back your beauty. Bring back your attractiveness, man or woman. Bring it back and see what happens. Show your vibrancy to the world and see what happens. Once you make something final, it automatically comes back anyway because that's closure. And closure makes you realize, okay? So I'm going to get the next cards. The first card is from Doreen Virtue, Daily Angel Guidance. Beautiful. Looks good. Life purpose. Everything happens for a reason. It is. Basis of your reading. Reading is finality. Something is final. It's the truth. Here it is. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. That's a good one. That you needed to hear. It's perfect. These readings are amazing. The first card, life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose. And then your purpose will serve you. This card is from Archangel Michael. Forgive yourself. You, you've done nothing wrong. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. My prayer. I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. I'm going to read that one again. Because that is what's going on. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any to toxic ang anger or fear toward others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. Read it. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Huh. 
let it happen. Let it happen. Something is final. Accept whatever new opportunity that comes your way regarding love. Accept it. It could be the love of your life. Talk to you later, Cancer.